Let's solve now problem 37 in page 92 of Siegel's biochemical calculations. Describe the preparation of 2 liters of 0.25 molar ferment buffer, pH 4.5, start from 1 molar formic acid and sodium, a solid sodium formate, and give the pKa of formic acid. Okay, so uh, 2 liters 0.24 molar formate buffer, uh, pH desire is 4.5, and start from 1 molar formic acid. So this is going to be a formic acid in the form a sodium formate buffer, right? An acid in the conjugate base, conjugate base being formate. And the pKa was given as 3.75. So we have the formic acid HCOOH, and it's going to be in equilibrium with H plus and the HCOO minus. That's the equilibrium for formate acid, that's a dissociation of formate acid. We now know that we are dealing with a problem of a buffer, so first thing is write the equation so that you get the thing right for the Henderson Helderberg equation. Right? So is that a pH in here because we are dealing with an acid? Then we are going to have uh, the conjugate base as the numerator and the, the as as the denominator in the Henderson Hausebag equation. Let's write it down. pH equal pKa was given also plus logarithm of the concentration of HCOO minus. That's why it's important to write the, the, the equilibrium reaction so you don't make the mistake. Uh, HCCO, HCOOH formic acid, non dissociate formic acid. We have 4.5, that's the desired pH. We have pKa that was given. How much was that? Three point seven five. Okay, it was given three point seven five in the problem. Uh, so let's write down here the what was given pKa equal three point seven five. All right, so plug in 3.75 here, plus log of the concentration of formate over the concentration of formic gas. Uh, with that, we are going to be able to calculate the ratio of formate to formic gas. Let's keep work on this. All right, so the difference between now, now we're going to put the like terms on the same side of the equation, 4.5 minus 3.75. In the interest of time in here, let's do already the result, which is 0.75 equals log of uh, concentration of uh, formate of uh, formic acid. From here, we can take based on the anti-log, we can say that the uh, concentration of formate of the concentration of uh, formic acid is going to be 10 to the power of positive 0 0.75, right? Because the difference was positive there, 0 0.75. Yes, 0.75. So you plug in this number in the calculator and you get this 5.62 for this, 5.62. So now we can write the two uh, equations that we have. One is that the HCOO minus equals 5.6.2 concentration of formic acid. Uh, we need another equation. You have one. Because we know that the, the sum of the concentration of formate and the formic acid is equal to the concentration of the buffer. Okay, formate plus formic acid equals the concentration of the buffer, and the concentration of the buffer was given 0.25 molar. So 0.25. Now we have two equations, two unknowns. Uh, we can solve that. 
again just the buffer concentration as was given in the problem so now we're going to replace things in here instead of hco minus let's put 5.6.2 concentration of formic in here okay 5.62 concentration of formic acid plus concentration of formic acid again equals 0 0.25 is on the last equation. So now we have 6.62, right? All together. 6.62 concentration of formic gas equals 0 0.25. So therefore, we have the first solution here. That's going to be the solution for the concentration of formate in that buffer. And the concentration of formate is going to be Zero point twenty five divided by six point six two gives zero point zero three eight molar. Zero point zero three eight molar. And you want to make it two liters of this buffer, right? That's what he's asking. Two liters, yes. Yeah. Two liters of this buffer. So Okay, so this was the concentration of formate. From there, we can uh, the formic acid. And then we can concentrate formate as well. But let's first calculate the uh, amount of uh, formic acid that you need for that. We are starting with uh, a solution that's one molar formic acid, right? And the we are going to add one molar and we're going to dilute to make 0 0.038 molar two liters right so that's a problem of dilution here so the volume of formic acid from the concentrate solution that i need to put to make this buffer is going to be v1 equal 0 0.076 liters or in another word 76 milliliters of one molar formic acid so I'm done with the first part. I know how much formic acid I need. Let's calculate the formate. Let's change the, uh, move the page in here and rewrite this thing. For formic acid, we take 76 milliliters of the one molar solution that was provided. These are very real problems in the lab, you know, that we, we deal with what we have in the lab, what's available. So we had a one molar formic acid. We take 76 milliliter. Now let's calculate the concentration of formate uh, from the equation before, the page before. We had the HCOO minus equals 5.62 concentration of formic acid. That was derived from the Henderson Hausenberg equation. Now we know that the concentration of formate is going to be then. 5.62 times the concentration of formic acid that you just calculated was 0 0.038. So we need 0 0.213 molar of formate to 13 molar of formate to make this. But formate was given as a sodium, a, so, a solid, sodium formate as a solid. So we have molarity is mass, mass divided by molecular weight and volume in liter. Uh, do we have the molarity? Yes, we have the molarity. What we need to know is what's the volume we need is two liters. Now we need to know what mass we can weight of this sodium acetate. Sodium acetate. Uh, HCOO, HCOO minus Na is a salt, and the molecular weight of this is very easy to calculate, right? 68. So now we can calculate the mass. The mass is going to be equal to the molarity times the molecular weight times the volume. The volume is 2 liters that we need to prepare. 
So we're going to plug all these numbers here, 0 0.213 is the concentration, uh, 68 is the molecular weight, and 2 is the volume. So we need 28.9 grams of sodium for me. So you put 28.9 grams of sodium for me, you put a certain volume of water, put 28.9 grams of sodium for me, and then you add 76 milliliters of uh, formic acid, and finally you complete the volume for 2 liters. And that's going to give you the buffer that you want. So here are the two numbers that you need to know and put together and complete the volume for two liters and you are done with that buffer.